Hi everyone, welcome to the ShareSite channel. In this video, I'll show you how to use the taxable income report to prepare your tax return. Before we begin, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on social media at ShareSite so you don't miss any product updates. Most people can relate how painful it is to compile all your dividend statements from multiple brokers or share registries during tax time. Not to mention having to do the same for other types of income such as your rental income, income from your term deposits, savings account and so on. So the wonderful thing about tracking most of your income producing assets on ShareSite is that it eliminates most of the paperwork required to do your tax return. How the taxable income report works is simple. Once you have imported all your buy and sell trades from your broker into ShareSite, ShareSite automatically populates all the income based on those historical transactions. This information is then used to prepare the taxable income report. So in order to make sure the taxable income report is accurate, here are the four things that you need to do. One, make sure your portfolio is up to date. That is, all your historical buy and sell trades are recorded correctly. Number two, if you have dividend reinvestment, make sure that you have set that up under the edit holdings tab on the holding page. We have a separate video that shows you how to do that. Make sure you watch that. Number three, make sure all the dividend information matches up with what you receive in your bank account and trading account. And then confirm all those dividends if they are correct so you don't have to come back and check them again. You can run the report once you have done all this. For those who own ETF, we have a help page that shows you how to enter the tax components into the report when you receive the annual tax statement from the share registry. I'll put a link in the descriptions. So that is one option if you plan to do your taxes right now. On the overview page, click on the reports tab. You can find the taxable income report under the tax and compliance section. In the report, you have the option to set a period. Generally, you set this to a financial year. There are also options to show comments and holdings total under the advanced options. This report is divided into two sections, local income and foreign income. Local income is dividends or any income earned within Australia. The local income section is further separated into trust and non-trust income. Non-trust income is generally dividends you receive from ASX listed companies. Each payment is broken down into individual components, mainly the franc, unfranc, and franking credits. You can also see the total under each component because you need to enter them into the tax form. Whereas trust income is income from securities that have a trust structure for example, ETFs or staple securities. Another option is to wait. ShareSite normally receives the finalized distribution for a majority of ETF around August or September and updates them in your portfolio, which means you don't have to manually enter them right now if you're not in a rush to file your tax. Foreign income is income earned outside Australia. For example, dividends you receive from US shares. ShareSite uses the prevailing exchange rate or the dividend paid date to convert the amount into Australian dollars. One thing to take note is ShareSite has a default foreign withholding tax percentage that may or may not be the same as your dividend statement. So it is important to make sure this is accurate. For example, the default foreign withholding tax for US dividends is 15%, but that assumes that you have completed the W8BEN form. Otherwise, your withholding tax will be 30%. You can update the withholding tax percentage in the edit holding tab. Now, if you are getting the help of an accountant to do your tax, there are two ways to share this report. You can use the sharing feature under the settings tab, portfolio sharing to give access to your accountant, or you can download the report either as a PDF or spreadsheet and email that to your accountant. For those who file their own tax return, we have an income tax return section at the end of the report that provides few reference to the relevant sections on the Australian income tax return form. You just need to enter the amount into the relevant field on the tax form as indicated by the field reference. I hope you find this video useful in helping you to prepare your tax return. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or visit us on our website and send us a chat. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.